There is a great need to refine uh, patient selection for adjuvant radiation therapy for squamous cell skin cancer. And that is because radiation therapy is not an easy treatment for most patients. It's divided into anything from, say, 10 to 30 treatments, and there can be potential side effects. Unfortunately, most of these cancers are on the face, or the head, and the neck, um, and these are areas that cosmesis uh, becomes important. So you don't want to radiate everyone, but then you don't want to miss cancers that are going to come back. So this is helpful in deciding uh, who has biologically aggressive cancer and who has less aggressive cancer. The Decision DX SCC test can stratify patients into low, intermediate, and high-risk categories. And one of the questions that is always posed to us is, does this patient need adjuvant radiation, number one? And number two, if you are going to radiate, what exactly is to be radiated? So is it just the primary site or would it be the regional lymph nodes? I think that it's probably okay to observe the low-risk patients. Um, the other patients probably would benefit from radiation therapy, but the highest-risk patients, because they have um, those cancers have metastatic potential, then it would make sense to radiate the lymph nodes as well. The decision XCC test is very important because it allows us to stratify patients into risk categories. So we know that somebody who's class one has a low chance of spreading, whereas a cancer that is in a high risk group, such as 2B, has a much higher chance of spreading. So the management of these two groups is going to be different. In the first group, we may opt to observe um, in a high-risk category, those patients should, I think, get radiation therapy. And in the intermediate groups, it may be that imaging and close follow-up may be sufficient. The Decision DX SCC test provides useful um, numerical data. So instead of just telling patients, well, you know, your risk could be you know, low, could be high, could be 10%, could be 50%, we can actually put numbers to it. And so that, uh, since patients often are reluctant to have additional treatment after their initial, perhaps, skin excision, um, it helps them make decisions. And there's a whole group of patients that are not adequately staged by the current staging systems. So these are patients, for example, with uh, cancers on the face, or the head and neck. Um, cancers that are more than two centimeters in size. Traditionally, these are considered high risk, but not all of them are. Um, and so this would help drive management. The Decision DX SEC test is, is an easy test to order, and it can be run on existing biopsy material. So we can uh, get a better idea of whether they are biologically aggressive or non-aggressive, <clears throat> more so than we would know just from the clinical pathologic factors. There's a form, and it's a one-page form with two sides, and there's some check boxes you check on the front, and there's some insurance information, and that's really it. And then you can either fax it in or email it in, and um, you get the answer back. I think the most exciting thing that Castle is doing for SCC patients is bringing a biomarker of um, personalizing the care of these patients because the whole field of oncology is moving towards basically molecular markers, personalized medicine, um, customizing treatment to the biology of the, of the cancer. And that has been lacking. That has been lacking in uh, SCC and I think that, that is changing and, that, and that's, that's very beneficial.